Ladies and gentlemen, gather around. Today, we delve into the enigmatic life of Bollywood legend Amitabh Bachchan. Forget method acting, because here comes a new trend, method smoking. Yes, our beloved Big B once smoked 200 cigarettes a day. That's right, folks. I suppose he was just practicing to play a chimney in his next blockbuster movie. Imagine this. Every morning, Mr. Bachchan needed a wake-up call, not from an alarm clock, but from a parade of Marlboros. The only six-pack he cared about was a carton of cigarettes. Let's be honest, with all that puffing, his lungs probably hosted their own film festival, Fifty Shades of Grey, the smoker's edition. So, how does one even smoke 200 cigarettes in a day? Did he have an assembly line of personal assistants lighting them up for him? Or perhaps he hired a professional smoking coach? One thing's for sure. Amitav was definitely on the hunt for the Guinness World Record for the most smog created by a single person. Now, imagine you're a cigarette. You're hanging out in a pack with your buddies, giving each other pep talks, when suddenly, boom, Amitav's hand reaches in. That's it. Your five minutes of tobacco fame just went up in smoke faster than a plot twist in a Bollywood movie. But hey, why stop at cigarettes? I'm convinced there were chariot races in his living room him on one side, puffing away, and a fleet of air fresheners desperately fighting back on the other. The battle of the century. Bachan versus the bard of fresh air. A true inspiration for any epic saga. Amitabh's doctor probably had a tough time keeping a straight face. The prescription read, eat healthy, exercise, and maybe consider swapping a few of those cigarettes for salad leaves occasionally. It's a surprise he didn't start rolling lettuce instead. Imagine him shuddering at the sight of kale. Talk about green screen disasters. So dear audience, what's your take? If Amitabh smoked so much because of a script, what could possibly be your excuse? Should we all, like him, start contemplating a career in chimney impersonation? Or are we better off just trotting down the path of carrot sticks and green tea? Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe, please.